This reads on June 9th, 2012, police officer John John Jamel Geddes and his family threatened me from the phone. It started from Facebook page and then it works its way into my phone. The reason why I'm coming on video is because I do not trust all of the police officers. We see how Zimmerman was a criminal and his father was a judge, and he was able to get off by killing someone, a young person. When I'm threatened, I will not be going over to the police thinking I can trust them all. We have great police officers, and unfortunately, the bad ones are blocking the good ones. So they don't think I have rights. So this is what I'm going to read about what is aggravated harassment. One, aggravated harassment in the second degree. A person is guilty of aggravated, aggravated harassment in the second degree when, with intent to harass, annoy, threaten, or alarm another person, he or she. Number one, either communicates with the person anonymously or otherwise by telephone, by telegraph, or by mail, or by transmitting or delivering any other form of written communication in a manner likely to cause annoyance or alarm, or causes a communication to be initiated by mechanical or electronic means or otherwise with the person anonymously or otherwise by telephone, telegraph, or by mail, transmitting or delivering any other form of written communication in a manner likely to cause annoyance or alarm also. Number two, makes a telephone call, whether or not a conversation ensues with no purpose of legitimate communication. Or number three, strikes, shoves, kicks, or otherwise subjects another person to physical contact, or attempts or threatens to do the same because of a belief or perception regarding such person's race, color, national origin, ancestry, gender, religion, religious practice, age, disability, or sexual orientation regardless of whether the belief or perception is correct. Four, commits the crime of harassment in the first degree and has pre previously been convicted of the crime of harassment in the first degree as defined by section 240.25 of this article within the preceding 10 years. Number five, for, for the purposes of subdivision one of this section, form of written communication shall include but not be limited to a recording as defined in subdivision six of section 275.00 of this part. Aggravated harassment in the second degree is a class A misdemeanor. The reason why I did this video is because, like I said earlier, I do not trust all the police and I know that they have a tendency to stick together, you know, and I understand, you know, that if I go to them, they might cover it up, they might block stuff, so I can't trust it. So Jamel Geddes, is a police officer at the 113 precinct in Queens, New York. We were having some words, me and, him, me and his wife, on Facebook. I blocked her. So she turned around and she went on her 12-year-old daughter's Facebook page, right here. And I see the little girl, so I'm thinking that it's, it's from the little girl, you know, but it wasn't, it was her mother, you know, being, being nasty and saying all kind of crazy stuff. So I said, okay. You know, you know, evidently you cannot control your, yourself with your children. So they thought I was calling the family services on them. But in my phone, after that, Jamel and I guess his wife, they called me like anonymously, just the number showing, and stated in my phone that if I tell ACS or whoever the family people are, that they were going to kill me. And how they did it, they turned the words around like I'm stupid. I'm older than them and I know. And I have police friends. I know police officers. So then Jamel says that I'm acting like I'm with the mob. No, I'm not. I'm acting like I'm telling him that I know police also. So then he says that he is the law. This is the problem with a lot of people who are able to carry weapons and call themselves officers or they're the neighborhood watch. You know, once they get that weapon in their hand, they think that they're God and they're above the rest. So this is why I made the video. And I'm going to make sure, I'm going to try to do my best that the police commissioner gets a copy of this. Because this is really bad, you know. 
we can't even trust the police department because we have people like Jamel and other people who say, I'm the law. So they're going to believe me. The judges are going to believe me. I have people in, in, in the precinct and stuff. That's why I'm making this video. This has to stop now. You know, a lot of our young people are dying, getting killed. We have police kicking in people's doors and their houses, shooting their children. I will not be one of those victims. I will not. I'm not afraid of the police. Okay, so I know I had to cover me. Because when he said that, and then when they kept on harassing me in the phone, that's why I read the rules of her aggravated harassment. So I thank you all for listening. And I'm going to tell you, for those of you who don't know and stuff, always have a camera, always take down notes, always copy stuff. That's why I had to do this, because before I take my phone over to, or if they ask me to the police department, so this way I can download, make copies, all of my stuff out of my phone, so this way they won't delete anything. Because like I said before, I know decent, great police officers. And then there are those that are low lifes, and that's just the way that it is. You know, we're in a country where people just do whatever and hurt whoever. As long as they have a badge or they have the, the means to getting a gun and getting a license, they think that they're very powerful. But only God is powerful. So I'm not going to let anything happen to me, you know, and I don't report it. So Jamel Geddes thought that when he threatened me over my phone that I was going to be afraid. This was June 9th, okay, June 9th, 2012. Okay, and I was being harassed, okay, from Facebook page all the way to my phone. That's aggravated harassment. So I sure hope if people are listening, take heed to it because we as citizens have rights. We have, citizens, we have rights against the, the bad police, the bad people in the neighborhood watch that feel like they can do whatever they want. They have criminal records and people are hiding them so that nobody else can see them. And then they commit crimes and then they get to walk. That's not fair. So I thank you for listening. And remember, keep yourself safe.